the video today is to show the techniques and tips to roll out the croissants please look at the link in the description box for the detailed method and description of this recipe here is a list of ingredients that we have used in the recipe so we are kneading the dough in the stand mixer and I'm going to add a teaspoonful of vanilla essence and knead the dough and add more flour as needed till the dough is not sticky anymore but still soft now using the palm and fingertips stretch the dough out into a nine inch square now wrap this square in cling wrap and then refrigerate I'm now going to roll this out into a 12 inch square I have cut out about 1 fourth cup of dough and will keep it aside to create the top chocolate layer now we are going to sandwich our butter layer within our dough and place this in a diamond shape uh, in orientation with the square dough so you can wrap it using all the four corners uh, of the dough This is 10 by 20 we have the butter sandwiched in this and I'm going to do a letter fold flour the surface generously so that the dough does not stick as you roll it out Use a scissor or a sharp knife to snip the closed folded edges and reveal the lamination. This will help for the croissants to get a better rise and flakiness as they bake. Cut the dough into three rectangles and then further into a total of six or eight, nine rectangles so that you can either roll them into rectangular croissants like we did for the chocolate ones or then cut those smaller rectangles along the diagonal to create triangles and then shape those triangles into the traditional crescent shape croissants as you can see in this video Beautiful lamination. Let's 
see how the chocolate tastes. Mmm! Chocolate comes through. Mmm! Texture, flavor, it all covers up that great stuff. And the chocolate, it melts to give that nice filling and the flavor.